In Colorado tonight, calls for leniency after a young truck driver was sentenced to more than 100 years in prison for his role in a deadly accident. Karen Morfitt from our CBS Denver station, KCNC, is covering the story. I'm begging for forgiveness. Roel Aguilera Medeiros was sentenced to more than 100 years in prison after a jury found him guilty of four counts of vehicular homicide and 23 other charges for this 2019 crash that killed four people. I'm crying all the time when I'm thinking about it. Aguilera Medeiros, who was 23 at the time, claimed the brakes failed as he was driving out of the mountains and couldn't pull over to avoid stopped traffic. Video shows he passed a runaway truck ramp where prosecutors say he could have pulled off. He made a series of terrible decisions. Aguilera Medeiros got the minimum sentence for every count, but Colorado's law mandates they be served consecutively, adding up to 110 years, effectively a life sentence. If I had the discretion, it would not be my sentence. Some truck drivers have said on social media they'll boycott the state during their routes to protest. And more than 4 million have signed an online petition asking the governor to reduce the prison time. Gage Evans, whose husband Bill Bailey died in the crash, says Aguilera Madero's sentence should not be commuted. Instead, she says the mandatory sentencing laws need to be reevaluated. He should not have taken a mountainous route with no experience. Now, the DA overseeing the case has already taken the extraordinary step of asking that the court reconsider the sentence. And tonight, Colorado Governor Jared Polis says his office has received Aguilar's request for clemency, and they are reviewing it. Major? KCNC's Karen Morfin. Thank you.